then the teacher pulled down my pants in front of the entire classroom and like spanked my white little people. For some reason, mom thought it was like, a good idea to put me in cram school. You went to cram school? And see, back then you could get like a young adult and country uh, man. Yeah, now you can only get a young adult. If you guys grew up here, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your parents are citizens now. They got these giant I saw that. cardboard yeah. cutouts yeah. of their son Vincent. They were so happy to live in a place where the front door and the back door oh, will go back to go visit and it's like always like I got my fingers crossed am I gonna have like quality time with my parents this weekend we are the claw machine <laughs> and then the teacher pulled down my pants in front of the entire classroom and like spanked my white little people for some reason mom thought it was like a good idea to put me in cram school you went to cram school and see back then you could get like a young adult and country uh, man yeah now you can only get a young adult if you guys grew up here you know what I'm talking about you were born in Taiwan I was born in Taiwan yeah. I feel like I was born in Taiwan, but I, I was four months old when I came here. Do you ever feel less Taiwanese because you were not born in Taiwan, like the, the, the three younger siblings? Like the three younger siblings? No, because I grew up here. This is where we spent all of our lives. Yeah, we grew up here. We were in Qingshui for 10 years, five years or so. And then we were in Haichung for probably like 10 years. That was another five years. Only five? Yeah. I really liked Haichung a lot. And then we were in Taipei. Now they've been in Jai for like eight years. Why did they even come to Taiwan in the first place? The missionaries. So I mean they were sent to Taiwan the year I was born. Their main job has been to help churches once the mission decides it's been long enough, they'll move them on to the next place and help another church. And so the reason they're down in Daling is the same. They were so happy to live in a place where the front door and the back door they can just leave open and people can come over anytime they want. And they do yeah. without knocking. We'll you know, we'll go back to go visit and it's like always like I got my fingers crossed am I gonna have like quality time with my parents this weekend or or is it gonna be like you know random people that I don't know most of the time it's random <laughs> it's <laughs> random people the claw machine in here right, right. Yeah. where is it I know it's we, in here somewhere I heard that the claw machine yeah. in this name is we, we are the claw machine <laughs> your parents are citizens now that's right they are citizens dude. Yeah. Oh. They got these giant I saw that. cardboard yeah. cutouts the of, their, of their. It was on the news. Yeah, yeah. yeah of their San oh. um, with the ID number blurred out. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty stoked. we I think we're all pretty stoked. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Like that, it's it is happening more and more these days. But like, it's I would still say it's pretty rare. You know, to have that honor, and you know, for the ceremony where they, where the Jai mayor came and like presented them with this award and stuff, um, they had opened the ceremony doing a, a Taiwanese song they learned years ago. I think it's called Ti O O Bei Lo Ho. So it's like about this couple like working in the farm. It was 2021 or 2022, and I was thinking in the West, this could seem like cultural appropriation because they were, <laughs> they had, they had the Taiwanese ha the like the uh, rice yeah, field yeah, yeah, hats, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they had the, the props, you know, like working in a in a Taiwanese field. So looking at my parents doing this, they've been here for like. 40 years. They're Taiwanese now. They're Taiwanese. They can do it. They already they do are. It. You know, they, can't they do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever I've do that. I've got a judo thing. I have Yongcho judo thing. I can't do that. I can't do that yet. Yeah. Once you got the, the thing with the cardboard, yeah. you can put on the hat. There you can put <laughs> So five kids growing up in a house. Was it just kind of pandemonium? Yeah, and they still got compliments. I'm like, well, you got five kids. How knee high. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My mom loves it. Even back then, <laughs> growing up, like we just we had a lot of fun together. It didn't matter that we lived in Ching Shui. Like, like, oh, super far, fun. far away from anybody else that we knew. It was I like, want to move back to Ching Shui now that I have kids. I'm like, <laughs> dude, Ching Shui is back and dope. What's the first memory of being like, I'm not like other Taiwanese people? My older sister, people would want to take a picture with her. She wisened up after a little while and started charging 10 NT per picture. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> that is smart. I don't know who encouraged her to do it or if she thought of it herself, but it's like, hey, make a little bit of money. If people like want to come take a picture with some random stranger they don't know. They're yeah. like, yo, bitch, give me 10 and T if you want a photo. In 10 and T, back then, you could get like a young adult and cook your meal. Yeah, now you can only get a young adult. So a bunch of snacks for 5 and T back then. That's true. Speaking, yeah, because that's, that's what I would get after church every Sunday. We go to that little place. Get some store. Kush, that guy's then... probably still there, dude. He is still there. I brought my kids last time. That guy's still there. Yeah. He remembers you. I'm sure he remembers you. Yeah, he you. remembers. He's, he, every time I go, he's still watching TV, like kind of interacting with customers if the TV program's not That's interesting enough. That's wild. I really like that guy. It's that like all the so different right. chips, too. Kadena. Oh, that's Lonely right. God. Young yeah, Lodol, because... Lonely go. I don't know if you did this, but like Grace and I would compete to see who can drink it more slowly by poking tiny, almost invisible holes 
in like the so, s- so small that you have to drink it slowly. Yeah. That's totally where I got it from. My friends look at me drinking Yanodo now. Everyone's <laughs> like, what the f- are you doing? <laughs> Living in Ching Shui, we learned a lot of like local games. So like the jump rope game, all the ropes were tied together. They were made out of rubber bands. We played um, ping ping. Ping pings. I don't but even know what you call it's not the official name it's for it. It's not the official name because I actually talked to my friends. I'm like, I was like, oh, wait, 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 I'm ping ping. They're like, like so it's a ping ping. Is it like a pog? It's a pog. You know, but it was, it was like Street Fighter. You're supposed to like try to hit it to go above the other person's. They were um, flat plastic figures. If you guys grew up here, you know what I'm talking about. And you guys would play these games with other Taiwanese kids? Yeah. We also made up our own game. We made up a bamboo slippers. That was the best game ever. That game required a typhoon. I don't know if our parents ever knew that we were out in the streets like playing bamboo slipper. And My foot got ran over. What, what is this? So it's a typhoon and you're trying to chase cars during a typhoon? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There was a, a bamboo trees near our house. And the wind from the typhoon would blow these bamboo branches off onto the road. The person in the middle of the road, they had to hold the bamboo shoot and spin around at the same pace and everybody else would use our feet and kick the slippers off our feet to the other side and have to go and get the slipper and then go, you know, past the person with the bamboo shoe. You guys are really, you guys are gnarly. To go and get the slipper without getting hit by the person in the middle. This is involved. That was how you played bamboo slipper. It's a pretty simple game, but it was fun. And you need a typhoon. You need a typhoon. (laughs) So you guys are all just running around in Lanbai Toshi? Yeah, pretty much. I wore I wore Lanbai Toshi to high school. Yeah? Yeah, and if they broke, then I would just use duct tape and like... Cash it together? Yeah. In preschool in Ching Shui. It was tough being like the only Maui in like all like Taiwanese school. I was the I was the, I was an outsider, I was the only one there and like there's this kid that was like la wai, la wai, some some and then uh, no it was Adogwa and he was like you know punking me, bullying me on, on like recess. So this dude though fucking got him like because <laughs> he was punking me the entire morning and then the it was lunchtime and the teacher called the last row first to go get the lunch. And this dude, I just remember like his like shit eating grin, like running down this running down the aisle to like get his lunch. He was so happy. And I like stuck my foot out and then he tripped and like flew. Oh, and I just oh. remember like blood coming out. Oh, and he, like, shit. And, like you know, broke his chin open. He was crying. And I just remember feeling you know, like <laughs> and then the teacher pulled me to the front of the classroom, pulled down my pants, and like spanked my white old people like oh, ten times. Damn. And I was humiliated. Everyone was like, oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> my memory of like preschool was I had kind of the opposite. One time, I must have peed my bed. The same day, one of my classmates peed their cot. Yeah. Right? The teacher didn't do anything to me. It was just like, oh, you know, uh, oh, you mean, you know, like, go change your pants or whatever. Yeah. But I remember this other kid getting, like, you know, slapped on the slapped. hand. I think maybe, just as a, now as a teacher myself, maybe there's this kind of like, okay, well, now I'm interacting with uh, somebody else's from another culture's kid. Yeah, well, you know, I, I gotta, I better be careful. Yeah. But you got slapped in the hand, right? Like, just for, like, having not more, gotten 100% on more, your test. More at cram school. For some reason, mom thought it was, like, a good idea to put me in cram school. You went to cram school? For a little <laughs> while. And I was just, like, the class clown and just disrupting the whole Wait, class the entire time. Wait, you went to Pushiba? I did. For Wait, a little how while. How old were you? I went with Grace, our older sister. Why and did mama... Was that, like, their way of being, like, oh, we're... When in Rome, like, <laughs> you just send your kids to Bushy Bond. I mean, I think I was probably lagging behind in math or something. You call so it English Bushy Bond. They decided not yeah. English. <laughs> English. Well, so you guys went to Taiwanese school until you were like six or seven? Ish. Like, basically it was preschool. But I mean, I kind of wish that my parents had put me in all through elementary school. Yeah. Well, are you going to The do local, that? local school. Are you going to put your kid in Taiwanese school for how long? Yeah, that's what we're considering. Yeah, like 100%, I would send my kids to Taiwanese school until probably like middle school. You have the opportunity to learn Mandarin, written component of the language as well. It would be a missed opportunity to be here in Taiwan and like not go to a Taiwanese school.